welcome back to our page. So I'm trying to get better at filming some live videos on this specific page. I do a lot more on my normal Facebook page and my YouTube channel, but I'm going to do better on here. So I wanted to share with you guys a quick haul I did this morning. Um, I my, my helper uh, noticed that I was still in my gym clothes, and that is very true. Uh, we've been out most of the day running errands and doing different things, and so we've been running around. But I had a very specific goal when I left this morning. I was going to go over to the Goodwill. I actually had a $50 budget for clothes, and I was going to go over to the Goodwill to see if I could find some things. I actually went to Cato's yesterday. It's a store in the town where I live. Well, it's kind of the town over where I live. And check their clearance racks, but they really didn't have anything that I liked. They had stuff, but it wasn't my taste. And because it's getting to the fall and it's going to go into the winter months, I needed a few more bottom halves for work. And I can't wear jeans. We can't wear anything denim. So I had to find a few things. Also, I like to dress up pretty much as my normal dress up. So I went to um, one specific Goodwill close to where my son takes karate. And I hit pay dirt, y'all. So again, remember, I only had like $50 to spend. Um, and that was a little bit cut in half because it cut down a little because I bought a pair of shoes yesterday at the other store. But I found some dresses and I went in and I prayed and I said, Lord, please let me find dresses because dresses only are one whole piece. If I would have found skirts or pants, I would have had to have a top to go with it. So it would have been twice as much. But anyway, I just want to show you what I found. So the first thing I found was the, is this is this green dress, and I don't think this has ever been worn. And the thing about it is, is that it has these pockets, and these are actual pockets that you can use. It is a zip down, and you can either step in or put it over your head. It doesn't have sleeves, but I have a blazer, a black blazer that I plan to wear this with, and I'll show you the shoes that I bought. Um, yesterday and I actually got these on the clearance rack at Kato's. They were $15.99. So I got these and this is what it looks like. I, I love a black heel. I love heels period but a black heel works well for me. So everything I bought today will be able to work well with those heels. So I got this green dress. I'm going to put a blazer over it or I actually have a um, one piece jumper suit thing that has sleeves and it's black so I could actually put that underneath this and it kind of has like a little bit of a turtleneck collar but it's not a turtleneck it's just a high collar so that was one piece that I got this morning and I really love that can dress that up with some accessories another piece that I got is and this is a dress I don't plan to wear it as a dress because it is a little shorter than I'm comfortable with but it is a button down the front, and I like the ruffles at the bottom. That's what I really liked about it, was the ruffles there, and I like the pleating and the ruffles here. So what I plan to do is put it, pair it with, I have the leggings that I normally wear, or any type of leggings that would go with black, and then you could pair it with, and the black pumps as well. So this was also a thrifted piece that I got. So I had those leggings. They weren't thrifted, but they were on sale. I got them at Walmart several months ago, and they were clearance. So that's one more piece. That's the back of it. But it is one dress that I plan to wear as a long shirt. And I'm just noticing now that it actually has wide belt loops, but this belt loop is broken, but I can just restitch that. So I can put a belt in here if I need to. The other piece, and I really love this dress, and you probably can't see it unless you're really, really close, but it has like a pattern. It's like a crosshatch pattern, and I love that little detail to the dress, but it has the collar. I love the vintage old um, 40s, 50s, 60s styles. That, that's kind of my favorite. It crosses in the front. This also is made for a belt and I'm going to get a silver belt. Now this one is a size 14 and I've kind of, I'm still on my weight loss journey. I'm now in a 16, but I can do some 14s and I can actually do 14 wides fit me like a 16 regular. 
So the only problem with this dress is that the zipper was was out or missing. And so there's the alterations place across the street from where my son takes um, Taekwondo. And I'm going to see if they can replace the zipper. So this I really love. It kind of flares at the bottom. It fits the waist nice. And when I put a belt on, because I like cinched waist, because it tends to bring my boobs up a little. And then it brings... The attention is not necessarily on my middle where I carry the most of my weight because I'm apple shaped. But, um, and then it also has the cap sleeve. So I do like this a lot. I was a little bit hesitant on this piece simply because the pattern is um, larger. It's uh, one of my friends said, oh, I love the polka dots. They're actually really large circles, not necessarily polka dots. And I do love polka dots. But I'm going to put a cami under so I'm not having too much uh, cleavage here. And then there's the belt. So it's belted. And I think I can do it around and then tie it in the front. And then I have a uh, diamond stud piece that I can actually put on the front there just to give it a little bit of bling. And I can actually wear this with the black blazer as well. And I do um, have to dress up for work sometimes. Well, pretty much a lot of times. And I just prefer dressing up. So this was another one piece that I did not have to have another separate bottom for. This one, I love it, but it's challenging me because it's a little shorter once I put it on than I would love. And I tend, I'm, I'm top heavy, so I have a little bit more cleavage than some. So it kind of pulls the dress up a little bit more as well. But I can do this with pantyhose. I can also do this with um, leggings. And it's not bad by itself, but it is black. And this is a uh, Marona. So this is a Target brand. The green dress was Carolina colors and it had never been worn. This is um, almost a three, this is probably a three quarter length sleeve. And I actually wear a three quarter length or I will raise them up above my forearm. That's just my preference. And so it does have a little tie, a bow tie in the front. And then it has like the high neck in the back. And I do like this. Now notice I did get a lot of black. I just like black. It, it makes me look a little slimmer. And I can put lots of, I have lots of accessories, jewelry pieces. And so blacks work for me because I can interchange my jewelry pieces. The next dress I got was a really, really, um, it's not quite ankle length, but it's just about there. And I don't think this has been worn either. And this is a Jennifer Lauren. No clue who she is or where she came from. But it does have the belting. And I do plan to also put a blazer on top of this. A black blazer. And I have a short-waisted um, black coat that I wear as well. That I really do like. So that was another one that I found. Now I stopped at another Goodwill. This one actually is in the town that I live in. So the first one I went to is in the town over. I just happened to be going to the one where I live here, and I found this plaid, and I love plaid. I know, I probably shouldn't love it, but I love these colors. I love pink, and I love the blue, and so this is actually really cute, and it has the belt in the back, and this is, again, made for a dress, but I do not plan to wear it as a dress. It's a little shorter than my comfort level. And so what I plan to do is to do my leggings just underneath that. And I'm going to put silver accessories with the black suede shoes. And it's going to be really, really cute. So this was a great find for me. I didn't find much in that one store. And I do like that it has these um, button-up sleeves on the side. It's not too hot. It's not too cool. But it's really cute. And this... The way that it looks, it just looks like somebody pulled the tags off, but they never wore it because it doesn't have any wash. It, does, it doesn't look like it's ever been washed or worn. Of course, I do plan to wash it. So those were the things that I got for me. I think I got seven pieces for me. And at my Goodwill, it's $4.79 a dress. So at, we'll say $5 times seven pieces is $35. So well within my budget. Then I was just looking, and on the same racks that I was shopping for myself, I'm always looking for my girls. So I have a 26-year-old, I have a 12-year-old, and um, I'm always looking for pieces for them. So I found this dress. It's um, hot pink or fuchsia, 
that's also a button up and then it has this felting which I thought was going to work really well for my little girl but we realized that it didn't work well for her because her body shape is just like mine kind of more round than long so this one is not going to work for her but my older daughter is in teacher school and so this will be a cute dress because I was like who can I give this dress to because it's really cute and um, I remembered well, she needs dresses for student teaching. So this is going to be a cute dress. I'm going to just hand this to her. And I think she will really love that. And then this one is probably my all-time fave. And I don't think this has been worn. And I think the pink one has not been worn either. I think they've just pulled the tags off and decided, hey, it's not going to work for them. But this is navy blue. And it has the um, khaki bottom. It's a six petite. So, of course, I am not wearing this. But uh, I just really thought it was really cute. It has the long sleeves. There's buttons here. And I think it's really cute for professional, you know, student teaching. Of course, she'd have to wear the right kind of shoes. And I think she has a pair of khaki shoes that she can wear with this. And the right accessories. And it would be really cute. So one of the things I like to do is maximize my dollar. And this dress is from Talbot's. This is a Talbot's. So you're talking $50, $60, $70 for this one specific dress and I love the waist because she probably if she wanted to could find a khaki belt and belt that it actually does have belt loops but there was no belt with it so she could probably belt this but 50 60 70 dollars for a dress and I found it at the Goodwill for 479 I always tell people don't sleep on the Goodwill you know it's one of those places that you can really go to maximize your money if that's what you're trying to do so this is our haul, and I actually got my daughter another khaki dress, but she has already, we've got to wash some things, so that's already going towards the wash. But anyway, these are just some of the dresses that I got. So in all, I got 10 dresses at $5 a piece, so $50. Probably one of the best um, investments that I've made in a long time, and I won't have to buy a couple more pieces until late, late winter, early spring, and I'm set. So thank you for stopping by our page and I'm going to try to get more videos up and we'll see you next time. Bye.